Hello and welcome back and that's right today we're going to talk about the best surveillance NAS of the year. We're talking about the end of the year stuff here, end of 2022 but all of the NAS that I'm talking about today are NAS that I would recommend for both 2022 and 2023 and the main thing, the big takeaway of today's video is about which of these NAS is going to be the best protect, to protect your home, your family, your business, your assets, your staff, your whatever. This is about surveillance and camera surveillance more so than anything. Buying a NAS is an investment for a lot of users. Whether you're a home or business user and you're trying to look for the best ROI return on investment, seriously, I got a bit sick even thinking those words, um, it comes down to a lot of NAS providers realizing that they can't just provide hard drives you can access on the internet. And a lot of the time, the features and services they include have got better and better to the point where a lot of the time, killer apps, much like gaming and consoles, are the reasons people are buying these systems. And in the case of the NASA that we're going to talk about today, one of their biggest selling points for you is going to be how well they manage surveillance there. Now, surveillance in this context can be decide, described as follows. It is a NAS that is able to allow you to monitor, and, uh, monitor record from, and uh, basically create an integrated security system of IP cameras. Now, there's a lot more to that in terms of retention, in terms of security, in terms of encryption, security levels, AI supported stuff, but that's really it. And in the NASIs we're going to talk about today, and we're going to talk about four NASIs, three and one honorable mention, these are the ones that I would recommend to different kinds of users. They're all the best in their own special way. But it has to be said that most NASs in the market right now can provide a lot of these services. And for those of you that are taking the plunge into buying an ads and you're slightly worried that these devices may not do other things so you can maximize the return on investment, I'm pleased to say that all of the NASs I'm going to talk about today provide the following. One, they provide a series of different RAID configurations that allow you to create safety nets as well as performance and capacity benefits with the drive you use inside. Secondly, They've all got retention policies. They've all got surveillance applications as well as storage and media applications built in, as well as being accessible remotely via the internet, via um, uh, secure tunnels, via their own first party access points, as well as allowing you to integrate existing VPNs that your business or home may have in place all rolled into them there. There's also applications there for virtual machine use, photo use, um, multi-tiered backup synchronization with cloud platforms there. And when it comes to the surveillance tools i would say right now that both of the brands because let's face it there's only two brands being featured in this video today their surveillance tools there are the best of the best the cream of the crop and they both provide their own special abilities included so whichever one you go for you are going to have a real professional surveillance platform there that's incredibly intuitive very modern and incredibly broad in what it can do but before we go any further let's talk about that honorable mention i said there was one nas there that didn't quite make the cut and the reason is that although all three of the other nazis are good and the best in their own way some of you may be looking for something of a bargain. Some of you may be looking at the older gen. Some of you may be wondering about a second-hand NAS you saw on eBay and whether it can cut the mustard. And for you guys, the honourable mention goes to the TS453D. That NAS from QNAP that's now been in the market for two and a half years, it has seen a refresh in the TS464, but... The TS453D knocking around on some great promos at the moment between four to 500 nicker. It's fantastic. It's got a great KVM set up there, keyboard, video, and mouse, where you can connect uh, connect an HDMI monitor and a keyboard and mouse and hat of our USB and have a complete independent parallel access point to monitor your surveillance setup. There's also a myriad of different mobile applications and support of QVR Pro with eight camera licenses inside. On top of that, the device also has support of PCIe upgrades that allow you to add um, uh, improvements via MPU um, upgrades via M2 to add even further AI supported services to their surveillance platform which has AI supported services inside. Despite having a more affordable price point than another keynote I'm going to talk about later on, it's still a fantastic option in terms of a surveillance NAS and to date I know at least 10 people that have contacted us through the free advice section over on NAS Compares who ended up buying the QNAP 453D or 653D for their own surveillance setup due to its broad support of different IP cameras from a multitude of different companies 
but also those tools that are integrated within the QNAP platform to make the most of it. So again, if you're looking for an affordable option or you're wondering why I didn't cover the 453D, that's why. But for now, let's crack on with our first NAS, which is the best all-around surveillance NAS. So if you're wondering why the TS453D isn't the best all-round option, despite everything I said, and why even the TS464, the follow-up to that NAS, isn't the best all-round NAS, this is the reason, the TS453E. Right now, in terms of a surveillance NAS that gives you a little bit of everything and access to everything while still being affordable and scalable, this is really tough to beat. Knocking around for between the 450 to 550 mark, depending on where you are in the world, it's hardware architecture, although not quite as scalable as the 464 and the 453E with PCIe upgrades and stuff like that, it's base level hardware is what sells it. So to put it into perspective there, yes, it's a four bay, you can mix and match drives. Yes, it supports all of the same cameras and service, loads of IP cameras that are supported from pan tilt, zoom domes to little webcams you have in your house for $20, $30 over on Viv. This device also arrives with an integrated quad-core uh, Celeron processor inside the J6412, and that integrated graphics means it's got a nice graphical component there for when you're gonna be using more dense 4K camera streams, or particularly those of you that are gonna be doing uh, recordings in H.265 or HEVC. Also, it has those eight camera licenses. It has support of that QVR Pro application there, and on top of that, it arrives with eight gig of memory because the more cameras you add, you're gonna need more memory because they are memory hungry. And eight gig by default, beautiful. And remember, eight camera licenses included by default as well. On top of that, we've got 2.5 GB each. So if you're running even insanely dense live stream recorded streams, it's gonna be very hard to, to surpass gigabit ethernet. If you are in that scenario, this supports 2.5 GBE there. There's also that KVM setup, and there's also two HDMI ports there, so you can run an extended screen on that KVM setup, or a mirrored screen if you choose to. And remember, you can access all of the features and services remotely on QVR Pro. We are using the mobile phone app, the desktop client, or via the web browser, although there is limited camera access support on the web browser that I'll talk about later on. But it's the fact that you've got all of those features and services and everything else in QTS5 rolled in with this device for the backups, for the multimedia, for um, archiving, uh, using bolt-on storage with things like virtual J-Bot and hybrid mount, as well as hybrid backup sync 3 for your multi-tier backup solution, it makes this a very compact, very quiet, very low-powered, fantastic all-round surveillance now solution, giving you a little bit of everything, as well as allowing you via those M2 slots to install that Google MP, uh, NTU or the little um, upgrade there for 20 to $30 to then give you access to supported AI surveillance services like facial recognition, like thing recognition, like people counting and more. All of that, you need additional power for support with the AI supported services. And this allows you for just a 20, 30 quid upgrade to add those services again best all-round support um, surveillance NAS there. And again, for that price point, really hard to argue with. It's not the best surveillance NAS, but it's the it gives you a little bit of everything in that contained package. But what if you are hell for leather on those AI supported services? Because for those of you that aren't aware, when it comes to running surveillance systems in 2022 or 2023 of 24 seven cameras running around, recording everything in your home or business environment, how much of that footage is you, are you actually gonna watch? You could have cameras running outside your office every single day for a year. You are probably only gonna watch approximately 30 to 60 minutes of that footage. And you're only gonna be looking at that when you've been alerted to something. Maybe some, you know, someone's been mugged outside, someone stole a car, someone's tried to break in. For one reason or another, despite the recording happening for all of those days, weeks, months, and years, we're only gonna to need to access a little bit of it. But the problem is knowing when to access, isn't it? Because just because a camera senses motion, that doesn't mean it's anything useful. If you have motion, a bird can fly past the camera, a spider can put a web on the camera lens, a car could drive past. It could be any number of things that come under the category of motion. And that's where AI supported services come in because a live AI supported service, deep video analysis as Synology referred to it, is when the camera knows what it's looking at. 
So the camera knows it's a person, knows it's a car, and therefore you can set the device up to only trigger in certain instances. Now, that is where this NAS comes in, the DVA-1622. It's their affordable AI-powered NAS for surveillance. Now, this system has certain attributes to it that are almost unavailable either exclusively or almost completely on any other Synology NAS. Now, with the AI-supported services, what it does is, for example, say you want to know if someone who isn't part of your company walks into the building. You can have it so as the camera is on, you can add a database of every member of staff that's there with their faces in the surveillance application, Surveillance Station 9. And then, if someone comes along who isn't on there, the camera starts recording. And then if it's someone safe, you can add them to the database and it won't record it again. The same thing goes with license plates on cars or the cars themselves. You can have it so there's a road that if people walk past the building, it's fine. But if a car drives there, the camera starts recording. And if it's a car with a registration that you know, it won't record. Or that you don't, it starts recording. You can draw lines, you can do people counting. You can have the system let you know that a certain person that works in the warehouse is coming in and out of the building when someone who isn't part of the warehouse starts to break in to steal some stuff. What I'm saying is, when it comes to AI supported services, they have tremendous utility, but they're also really, really expensive. So it's really good that Synology introduced the DVA-1622. Now, it's not as powerful as its big brother, the DVA-3221. We're gonna talk about that in a bit. But the 1622 there gives you a little taste of everything while still keeping things affordable. And it even arrives with a eight camera licenses as well. So let's go through its hardware just a little bit there. It does have a KVM setup, which is incredibly rare from Synology to allow a keyboard video mouse setup onto an as. It runs, um, it runs uh, with the uh, keyboard video mouse connected via HDMI on the rear. So you can have the local access point and access surveillance station uh, this, from there, but it can also still be accessed by the network and the internet. Now, Surveillance Station is still to date the best NAS surveillance software. It's probably one of the best surveillance software I've ever seen. It's so well put together. You can access all cameras and feeds via the web browser, something a lot of other brands can't provide, as well as have full control and uh, configuration via the mobile app as well. Everything from defining trigger characteristics and alerts all the way down to changing patrol patterns on the individual cameras and adding cameras too. On top of that, this system arriving with its Intel Celeron based processor inside and arriving with um, six gig of DDR4 memory, you've got more than enough hardware inside for those low level integrated tasks. It's not as powerful as the DVA 163221, uh, what you're getting is those AI supported services at a more affordable level. It's a very expensive two bay, but for surveillance, it's the best two bay by a country mile. Now, again, due to it not having a graphics card, its supported services are a little streamlined. It can only support up to two um, uh, people counting, license plate uh, recognition, vehicle recognition, uh, intrusions, and face detections for live DVA feeds at any given time. It can support, you know, up to 10,000 faces, but you can only set up up to two AI tasks there. Now, with this system, it is going to work as more of an entry point for them into those AI supported services. As time wears on, I'm hoping Synology integrate these services into more domestic disk station and rack station services. But given that this can support up to 16 cameras and with those um, uh, eight camera licenses included, it is a fantastic entry point there. Sorry, I keep looking at my notes. Overall, as an affordable AI supported service, because remember, you're getting all those AI supported services integrated into it with those extra camera licenses, which are really expensive. It's by far the best two-bay surveillance NAS I've seen, both in and outside of AI supported services. Which brings us, of course, to the big guns, the Synology DVA-3221, a really expensive NAS, but in terms of AI supported surveillance services, probably one of the best on the market in terms of disk station, uh, in terms of desktop devices. It's a four bay NAS there running on an Intel Atom based processor. It's a quad core Intel processor. It also arrives uh, with eight gig of DDR4 ECC memory error correcting code memory that can be scanned up to 32 gig to make sure that data can have its inconsistencies checked and repaired if necessary. Thanks to the uh, in uh, parity data, the blueprint that happens during the memory write process to make sure your 
archival recordings are perfectly fine from things like Bitrot. But the big sell is it has a graphics card inside. It has an NVIDIA GTX 1650, which although isn't going to rival the 3060 you see in some laptop devices, or any of the beefier DDR5 cards in the market, or DDR6 indeed, that hardware allows you to do between 6 and 12 of those AI-supported services, depending on whether you're doing people counting, license plates, vehicles, intrusions, that kind of stuff. But you can even roll it up to 4K deep video analysis on those cameras. And with those, it does pared down to eight AI supported services at any given time. And yes, it includes those eight camera licenses as well. It's got up to 32 live camera feeds as well. It lacks the KVM, which really surprises me. You can't attach it, even though the graphics card inside has an HDMI output that's been disabled. But the sheer level of hardware here and the access to Synology Surveillance Station platform with all the other features and services of Surveillance Station, such as adding Google Maps and Open Map support there, as well as connecting um, IP services such as cameras uh, and alongside AI supported door and uh, locks and alarms and stuff like that, all putting it in. And just the sheer improvements that have gone into Surveillance Station 9 and the fact this device allows you to access those AI supported services to such a high degree just puts the three two two one despite its quite intimidating price point probably the best surveillance nas out there and it is the most powerful ai supported one and does dwarf pretty much everything in the market right now you can even scale up that storage as well i know it's only four bays of storage and you can get pretty large hard drives these days but you can add a couple of five bay expansions as well with the dx 517s now i should add this device i would add a caveat because Synology is working on a couple of new cameras that they're going to release, the BC500 and the TC500, their own IP cameras. These cameras are going to allow the hardware inside those cameras, which have AI-supported services, to be used by the Synology NAS. Now, at the time of recording, it's still not 100% known whether non-DVA NASs, so the DS923, DS220, whatever, which have got to valid stations, 9 will allow you to use AI supported services on those cameras. And that might mean you might not need a device like this to have access to those services to that level. You're still gonna need camera licenses, I imagine. But right now, based on all that we know, the DVA3221 is the best surveillance NAS in the market right now. But just bear in mind, in 2023, Synology is going to be releasing their own cameras, which may mean you can access a lot of the things I just said, utilizing more lower power NASs from Synology. But this has been my recommended surveillance NASs for 2022 and going into 2023. I hope you found the video helpful. There should be a link to a guide in the description where we go through our choices, as well as linking to other resources and services and reviews on these systems and others. If you want to learn more, head over to NAS Compares, not only for the articles and guides, but also for the free advice section where we can help you choose the right surveillance NAS for you, as well as guides to choosing the right IP camera for your needs based on price and features. Otherwise, there's the free community support forum over on Ask NAS Compares, where me, Eddie, and the rest of the NAS community can help you with your questions to make sure you get the right setup for your home or business needs. And finally, if this video has helped you, really important, and if you were gonna buy from Amazon anyway, Use the links in the description to take you through to Amazon from this page. Not only will it cost you nothing extra to do it, but anything, and I mean anything you buy there, will result in a kickback coming to me, Eddie and Naz Compares, where it is just us doing what we do, and that little bit of money that comes from Amazon every time helps us to continue doing what we do. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.